Today we're going to compare three 50mm lenses, a Canon, a Pentax, and an M42 mount lens. First let's start off with the Pentax. It's a 50mm f1.7 lens, it's all manual, has an aperture ring which is great for filmmakers in my opinion. It's made out of plastic but the mount is made out of metal which is great. The focus ring, I th believe it's 90 degree rotation, that's pretty good. And it's a very smooth focus ring, which again is great for filmmakers. Next up is the Canon 50mm f1.8. This is actually the Mark 1 lens. It's not the Mark 2 that everyone's used to. This one is a little bit more different. It has a actual better focus ring and it has a metal mount and a focus window to tell you how far your focus distance where your focus is, which is great. I think it has a 180 degree rotation, which is nice and long. It also has autofocus if you need that feature, but in my case, it was a little slow. Here's the M42 mount lens. I can't really tell what company made it, except for the top of the lens cap, it says focal. So it's an F1.7 50 millimeter lens. It has a very nice retro look. It's made of all metal. Plus what's great about this is the mount is M42, which you get an easy metal adapter off of Amazon for pretty cheap. First off, I'm going to do a comparison on the focus pulls and also the video quality. So here's the Pentax. Again, it's a little bit soft on C3PO and the focus is nailed the best I could. And there's the focus pull. It has a really nice focus ring, which is great for filmmakers. Even though it's a little soft, that doesn't really bother me much. Here's the Canon, it has more sharpness and a little bit more contrast to it. And also, the blurry background is nice. The camera bounces around a little bit. That's because the focus ring is a little stiff on it, but nothing to worry about there. Next up, the M42 mount lens. Again, it's a little bit more sharper than the Pentax, but it's a little softer than the Canon, which makes a really good in between lens. So now here's a few still images. Here's the Canon at f1.8 wide open. Very sharp for wide open. Pretty good quality. And now I set the aperture to f2.8. It's a little brighter on the corners and it's really sharp in the middle, especially on the, the lines. And here's the Pentax. Even though it may seem wider, it's because I have to move the camera further away. The minimum focus distance is a little bit longer. So here's that f1.7. Pretty sharp, for my opinion. If you look on the desk, you can see how thin the depth of field is. And there's a f2.8. Very sharp and contrasty. In a few of my images and videos, I noticed that it has a more warmish tone to it. Which is not anything to worry about. It's just how the lens works it's very nice here's the m42 as a more bluish tone and more of a cool or cold feel to it and this is at f1.7 because my adapter won't allow me to change the aperture but you can get adapters that allow you to do that again if you look on the desk how thin the aperture really is very sharp in the middle and I'm not really too worried about the other apertures because wide open is pretty nice. Let's take a quick look at these two images. One's with the Pentax at f2.8 and Canon at f2.8. Now if you can guess which one's which, I congratulate you if you guess correctly because they're really sharp. Both of them are pretty sharp at f2.8. Now the Pentax is on the right and the Canon's on the left. I actually think that the Pentax is slightly sharper. You guys can make your own mind and leave a comment down below if you'd like to, but that's kind of cool to see that. So here's the M42 mount on the Canon T3i. Very nice retro feel to it. And here's the Pentax, and then the Canon on the Canon lens. So that's it. If you have any videos, ideas, or tutorials, or if you have a question, Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.